Good morning, everyone, and happy Sunday. Today is Sunday. It's a day to go and worship God. Those of us that are going to church today, and um, if you are not going to church, wherever you may be, you can worship God. The Bible says, wherever the soul of your feet matched, wherever the soul of your feet match, God is in that ground. God is everywhere. Wherever you call upon the name of God, He will answer you and be there for you. As far as you worship him and praise him. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys are doing fine. I want to react to a video this morning. This very bright and lovely day. And um, you know, uh, in life, sometimes the the reason why the Bible said that when people are crying, we should cry with them. And not to insult them, not to take an advantage of what they are passing through. There are people, if it is if it's too much in their home, they they believe that if they escalate it, they might get help. They are not fools to have escalated whatever thing that are happening in their in their house. So that there will be weakness, so that there will be people that will come to rescue. Sometimes God allow it to be so. But it is not a privilege for people to start using it as an advantage to insult those people or um, um, release their own aggravated anger. On those people because that's what some people do some people when they are angry with their own situation they know they have not solved what they do they go to they take that anger to pour on to as to pour it waste it on other people yeah i've seen a lot of people that have done it i know when i was working in an office a guy that always has a problem with his family whenever he comes to the office he could not be able to handle it in his house but when he comes to your because he's a boss so he tried to pour that anger on the junior staffs, which is very, very bad. Until one day somebody discovered it and find out where the anger was coming from. We shouldn't use this kind of things because it is not easy to just escalate a problem. It's not easy. There are many people, there's nobody that will say it doesn't have a problem. It's just those ones that escalated their own that they say, oh, you don't see it, it's okay. If they didn't escalate it, you wouldn't know what is happening. They will keep it within themselves. And nobody will know what is happening. The reason why it was escalated so that they can get help so that things, so people are supposed to be, if you know you're on their side, you support, encourage, and not to bombard, not to use your own anger to bring it to that place, to release it, a misery. Because this very person is fighting for her marriage, like she says, I am fighting for her marriage. And who am I talking about? I'm talking of Mirahim. I'm fighting for my marriage and I'm not giving up. She's not keeping quiet. She says she's not keeping quiet. She says, I'm not giving up. I'm not keeping quiet. I'm fighting for my marriage. So what she needs now is advice. If you're a marriage counselor, you know about marriage, you have an idea, release it to her. She needs advice. Are you not, are you not, don't you have pity? Don't you have conscience? I speak to everyone that are talking negative thing to her. Uh, and don't you have conscience? Don't you have sisters? Don't you have people that are married? Don't you? Are you not a woman too that will get married one day? And if you are married, are you not passing through something? Don't you know that the same Bible, the same God said that if we are, if we, that the same Jesus Christ is stated it categorically that. 
when he was in prison, we visited him. When he was crying, we were there to comfort him. When he was in pain, we were there. When he was hungry, we gave him food to eat. When he was homeless, he knocked on the door, we allow him in to the house. When he has no money, we give to him. When he was dying, we were there for him. When this and this happened, we were there for him. And he said, come into the kingdom and enjoy with me in my father's kingdom. I will start answering him, but who we are doing this? We didn't see you. He said, no, you don't need to see me. He said, whatever you have done to the least of my brethren, you have done it to me. And he said to the other ones, when I was hungry, you never gave me to eat. When I was in pain, you were laughing at me. It's of you to comfort me. It's of you to be there to find a word. Everything is about money. It's of you to comfort me. You didn't comfort me. When I came for money, you were laughing at me. You didn't give me to eat. When I was hungry, it's of you to give me to eat. You chased me away. When I was homeless, I came to you knocking. You never opened the door for me. Everything about me, you are laughing. You are, you are, you are doing me caricature. Today be cast into the sea. Ah, but, ah, wait now. Nah. Wait, don't cast us now nah, first. Don't don't cast us. Don't cast us first. Wait, let's answer one question. But we didn't see you now. Nah. If we see you, we would have done it to you. He said, What? He said, You don't need to see me. Whatever you have done to the list of my brethren, you have done to me. What did Jesus is saying? That Jesus is telling us that when we see the poor, we should help them. We see the orphan, we should comfort them. We see people in prison, go and visit them. If people that are homeless, help them in. People that are in pain, that can escalate this kind of problem, be there for them. Be there for them. Take that problem to your own self. Feel it to yourself. Put it to yourself that if this is me, what would have happened? Bring that person to yourself. That way, you also. The way, listen, let me tell you, there's one secret that some people don't know. Let me tell you one thing you don't know. Hmm? If you are sorting people's problem, God will be sorting your own problem. Believe it or not. Yeah, if you are sorting people's problem, if you, are, if you love to sort people, if you love to see when somebody is in pain, you are also in pain with the person. Make sure that the person is all right. You want to see that this person is all right. You are using, it's not about money. People don't think it's money, money, money. No, no. Your words alone can do a lot of things. Yeah. The words that you make can do a lot of... Okay, let me tell you, don't you see how people react to words? You can give somebody money now. I've seen somebody giving somebody money, but the words that he brought from that money made the person to say, no, I'm not, I'm not taking again. Don't give milk. Ah, no, no, I'm not taking. Why will you say that word? Why, why don't you just give me the money? Why will you say that word? See how powerful the, the Bible says the word is mark, the mark, the tongue is so powerful. It's so strong. So you, know, you must know how to use them. If you don't know how to use them, you spoil a lot of things. It can this tongue can make you prosper. It can also spoil a lot of things. So if you are sorting people's problem, you are sorting your own problem. As Beri Rahim now, that orphan, that girl, that girl that is going through that thing, an orphan like that, that is going through that thing, put yourself in a shoe. What, do you know what is an orphan? Maybe some people don't know where it's an orphan. An is somebody that has no mother, no father, that has no body around her. If she has a sister now, as she has a sister now, sorry, as she has a sister now, that means they're orphans. And that is the only thing that we can do for an orphan is to be there for them like a father and a mother and a sister and a brother and to see to them, to their pains. Because the reason why People take an advantage on them because they don't have nobody. But they have God. And that is why God does not play with them. God does not play with an orphan. And let me tell you something. Eh? Orphan carry a lot of blessings, but you don't know. People don't know that. If you ever meet an orphan, like as a lot of men on have met this girl as an orphan, the blessing that is coming to is from that girl. It's from God. Grace, the grace. Because God will want to make them comfortable. Oh, you don't understand me. Listen, eh? God, we want to make them comfortable 
if you if they are girls, they are ladies, and you meet them and marry them, God used because of them to bless you, bless that marriage, and make a family for them so that they will not think. Because through that way they create family, they have they they, they are now with you, they are comfortable, they are the God bless them, they are comfortable, they have children. Yes, that pains will not go away from them. That at last toy will not be in them. The only time they remember is only when pain comes back to them. They not remember their mother and their mother. But if not, they live happily ever after. And that is what God wants. God forbid that we should become an offer. It's not good. It's not a good thing. So when you see people pass through it, be with them. Be with them. That girl going through that thing now. Tell me the truth. Tell me the truth. Please, everybody, tell me the truth. Drop a comment and tell me the truth. What has she done bad? She was married to a man. As young as his young age. There are some young girls that they will not agree. They say, no, I beg. My mother and my father, let me and let me first of all. Yes, yeah, so I've seen a lot of they say no, 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 please. They'll be scared. Say no, no, I want to let me go. No, she saw herself and say, no, let me form a family, let me get a family. This lovely guy, I want to be with. And he, what has he done wrong? Is there was there anybody when Lemon came to Lemon never carried joy? Lemon came alone. And when she moved with Lemon into the house, it was alone. And nobody will ever tell me that there will not be a problem in a marriage. They don't, nobody. Why some married when there is problem, they cannot be able to handle it between two of them. They escalate it to their family from there. It doesn't, it doesn't mean anything. Escalating that thing doesn't mean you should come and laugh at them. They are doing it so that there will be help. So what you need to do, if you have, if you are have an experience into this kind of thing. You bring out your ideas. Send them a test. Talk to them. Tell them this is what you can do. This is what you can do. This is what you can do to resolve all this kind of a thing. While you are saying it, the Bible says, He that said in secret to the world openly, God sees everything everybody is doing. <laughs> it be like your heart, God sees it. Your movement, God knows it. Every single day we all wake up from A to Z. God knows all our movement because He's the one that has every activity. It is His hand that fits His hand. If God said today this world will not exist again, it's over. It will not exist again. If you say today, now nah, I don't want this earth, everybody is gone. That's the end of it. All this story, history, everything. Boom, finish. So, what are we saying? What I'm saying is that be there for her. Take her like your sister. Tell, make, talk, say the truth. Tell her the right thing to say. Advise her in the right way. Comfort her. Write her she is confused. A young girl, what her mother never passed through. Tell me, a young girl of how many years passing through this? Not that she's even, even, even 30 or 30 or 40, even 40. She has not even have a child. At least, so, I say, let me tell you something now. All that thing now. If she had a child, by the grace of God. If God, she will have some, something that will comfort her. That's what I'm saying. She will have something that will comfort her. This is what, oh my God. She will, the, the child will be talking to her. At least Lemon will not even do it. Lemon will be looking at that child. And because of that child, Lemon will, will, be keep, will keep quiet. Or whatever Lemon wants to do anything because of that child. But because she doesn't have, and not her fault. It's never her fault. So we should be her like, brother and sister and mother and friends comforting and telling her positive thing that will help her out before I go there is somebody that I know yeah she never intended to marry at a young age but tragedy caused her to do what she, to turn her fate into where she is not supposed to, where she has not planned. Because what she planned in her life was to become a medical doctor. Her father was doing fine. Her mother was doing fine. And her father and her mother traveled. And that was the end of her father and her mother in a plane crash here. And 
She never knew most of her brother property. Yeah, her brother property, where her things, what her things there. Because she was a young girl. So, meaning they stole many things. Many things gone. She grew up not even knowing nothing. And people stole. Even the lawyer have died. Mm, everybody. See, you can't trust people. Then she was taken to a friend place. Her mother friend that knew her mother for a long time. And that her mother friend was not a witch like that. But her mother was the one that used to help that. But since the mother is gone now, the woman was the only one that was the person that came to take her away. And she grew with the woman. And before you know, she met a guy who liked her at that young age. They got into a relationship and the girl, the girl got, you know, pregnant for the guy. You know, this kind of relationship of love. And he got pregnant and that was how the guy got to have to marry the girl. But along the line, things was not the way it was anymore. Yeah, the guy started misbehaving. Things was wrong. Yeah. So the woman who didn't even know what was happening until the girl had to escalate it. The lady had to know. She has to come. Yeah, you see, people came for her. People had, people came. Other people that had it came and they were talking. And through that thing, things changed. The guy realized and the guy begged. I knew that because the guy started to change. The girl, God brought blessing through that girl and the guy started to change. And when God wants to do something, God begins to do something now. But now let me tell you, God is torturing so something now happened along the line. Because the guy is a very prayerful person. One of his uncle that knows about everything about his father wet came from China. They know that his father was dead. And when he knew, this was his father's secret brother that he has, that he has so that had, it used to tell so many things and has so many things he gave to him to hold for him. And the guy came and reviewed it. And so many of them even went and they located the other people that was. And that was how he get things. The girl became very weird. And now was up there. And now the guy realized that, oh, so there's nothing. God, you see, there is in the Bible say God bring up king. He bring down king. He bring up king. He still bring down king. Yeah, he can bring down and bring up. So what are we saying? When you see people that you know the right thing to say, Say it and show them love. Bring them closer to yourself. That way you are doing a good thing to yourself. And a great blessing will not exist from that person. Anyway, guys, I need you to watch this video and see what Brother Rahim is saying concerning how people are not fighting, how people are coming to say negative things. He's too tired of it. I need you to drop your comment on it. Remember that today is the day that we are going to be announcing a death is coming. We are going to be announcing the date of the, the end date of the giveaway. I mean, the end date of the giveaway. And then that day we'll be announcing three beautiful names. All of you are beautiful, Devo. Don't misquote me. Three names that will be standing out in this giveaway. Uh, and I hope you guys are ready. And if you're just coming for the first time, thank you very much. Happy Sunday to you. And I God will bless you. There's a red button that is there. Help us to subscribe. To help us subscribe to move this channel to the next level. Thank you for all of you that have been subscribing and have been being watching. Thank you. But I love all of you. Those of you, those many of you that are here that are here standing for the truth with me together. Thank you very much. All my fans, I love you all. God will bless you wherever you are and whatever you have put your hand to do, you will prosper in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Don't worry, one day I'll be doing a prayer section with everybody. A prayer section where I'll be praying, praying, serious prayer. Yes, prayer. We'll be doing prayer section very soon. I'll put it on and I'll bring somebody that all of us, well, I'll bring a pastor that'll be here we'll be praying. People will come on live, we'll pray and I will go on live it's going to be on live. So if you are willing 
There's one pastor that is in our consigned group that used to pray. And that pastor is going to be coming around. And when he comes around, we're going to be putting that pastor live. I'm going to be putting it up. Up. And the day that we'll be um, doing this thing, I'm going to be putting it up on the uh, day that we'll be having him. And for when, when, when he tells me, because he's going to come, he's coming soon. Again, I want to announce something. A desk is coming live today. A desk is going to be live today because it's going to be available today. She's coming live, so uh, she's going to be talking a lot of things, um, a lot of things on live today. And that was the program she used to do. She used to do that program. She talks a lot of things. So if you are there, uh, um, on she's talking about online abuse. Online abuse. She's talking about because she's good in online abuse. She talked about online abuse a lot and a lot of things. She's good in caring and a lot of things. So if you want to join, you know you have the time. You want to join. She's going to be live on here, YouTube here, on this channel, live. Breaking every online abuse, everything on uh Top and uh, uh, what she's saying today is going to be um, so wonderful, and I want you guys uh, to please uh, support her, join her in a program, join in the program, and then uh, you know ask her question. Yeah, she has. She, she's if you answer question, wow, wonderful. She's going to answer. You're going to go tell her open up because she's going to open up a lot of things. There's a lot of things she's going to open up today. And this, yeah, the one you guys, you guys know. You know, a desk your friend. She's coming up today, and after today, she's going to also be talk, tell, telling you guys about what she's going to be doing today. So you guys should get ready for that. And please, uh, don't forget to drop your comment, share this video, and um, stay tuned. Throughout today, we'll have you eye guys. Stay tuned and stay blessed. And God will see you through. I'm always your boy, Jimmy White. Thank you very much. And God bless you. Amen. You not just expect me now. Somebody will see that you will not say anything to me. I will not stand up and start shouting. Now, 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 my person I be. One of the reasons, I'm one of the things for now. Just talk for the corner. Stop person to talk nonsense. I hear some people say she doesn't have respect. She's so good. She's the one who that be good to you. If you want to chat me up, you chat me up like a responsible and mature person that you are. And then you just chat me up and start telling me nonsense. Say, Joe, one of them will be me. Why do anybody you? I do not fight for anybody's homo. Now my own home I fight for. I do not fight for your homo. You know how you are coming to come and, come and insult me in the name of advice. Oh? Know how. Know how. We never fight for a marriage before. All of you now. Okay, all those people that are telling me to be calm, to be calm, to be calm. Do you want to tell me that it's every time your husband is shouting, you no? Know, or every time maybe your husband slap you or slap your child, you will not retaliate. Do you want to tell me that it's every time you are keeping quiet? You don't tell me every time you're calm. You don't talk. You just you just watch him do whatever he wants to do. Nobody will nobody will challenge. Who is better? Who is better? I don't tell him to everybody in South Bay. She's not have respect. She's not do something. She's talking to your husband. I will talk. This mouth is meant for me to talk. I will talk. That is the way I can relieve my stress. That is the way I can relieve anything that is bothering me. That is why people are saying I don't have respect. Yes, I don't have respect. I'm not a pretender. Nobody will rubbish me. I'm not a pretender. 